I conducted some research on Twitter last week asking what are the main challenges, especially ASX traders experience in that current market environment. And clearly revenge trading and um, especially going on tilt was the winner. And um, it was really frustrating for traders because many of them gave back most of the profits that they made in that recent leg up. Um, they gave it all back. So lots of frustration, especially with going on tilt. Yes. Yeah, so what exactly is going on tilt? Explain it for us. Mm -hmm. So going on tilt originally comes from the wonderful world of poker. It describes a trader who aggressively and recklessly enters one trade after another, completely disregarding money management, risk management. They're so blinded by their emotions, you know, um, the regret that they didn't take a profit or um, the annoyance and frustrations that they gave profits back, whatever that um, external trigger is causes them to be completely emotional and just trying to um, make that money back or um, make that opportunity back that they missed out on. So going on tilt is really driven by emotional trading, completely disregarding any of their methodology or strategies. And I call that the marshmallow moments um, after um, professor, I think his name was Mo Walter Michel, and um, he did this famous marshmallow experiment identifying how children can um, exert self-control to delay gratification. And delayed gratification in trading is, of course, when we have made a loss, trying to make that loss back immediately, or when we have missed out on a great profit, trying to make that profit back immediately. So that's a delayed gratification in trading. And here's an example from a trader that I worked with. And you can see quite early in the piece where um, that big red down day was, he went short at 7335, had an epic trade, was in an epic profit. And he thought there's a little bit more in that trade. And of course, the next way it came straight back up. But the day after he added to his short position and it um, didn't end well, it ended up in a loss. So after that, you can see um, there was a doji. He went short again. Um, the next day, market rallies up again, another loss. Then he went long. The market came down. So he started um, really going on tilt and chasing his tail and, uh, you know, like a world champion being whipsawed in and out of his trades. So completely driven by emotions. Now, in hindsight, you can see, I mean, why would he take those trades? It was clearly a sideways market. But as the market unfolded, it wasn't that clear. He was pretty sure that um, there was an opportunity for a little bit of a deeper um, um, retracement of the market before the next leg up. But that didn't happen. So, yes, lots of frustration for him.